So this little mini-talk is inspired by one of her fellows, Dr. Moodley. There you are, Dr. Moodley. And informed by some of my favorite love pathologists in the United States. And the question for us today is, what is a ballooned hepatocyte? Very critical for defining steatohepatitis. So here's a classic balloon cell. It's enlarged, and you may well ask, how much larger should it be relative to a hepatocyte? And the answer is more than 1.5 times the size of an adjacent normal hepatocyte. And here it's more than three times the size. Typically, the nucleus is centrally located. And importantly, there's condensation of the cytoplasm, leaving these clear areas and then the condensed area, typically around the nucleus. And at times it looks rather dense and ropey, it sort of resembles what is often referred to as soft Mallory hyaline. So the closest mimic of a balloon cell is a cell containing fat or macrovesicular steatosis. And these cells are enlarged, yes, but they have nuclei that are not centrally located but instead are squished at the periphery. The cytoplasm is also clear, but there is none of that cytoplasmic condensation that you see in balloon cells, and obviously none of that Mallory Harlan either. So here's another balloon cell. It's clearly enlarged. It has that cytoplasmic condensation around the nucleus, but many of these balloon cells have these spider-like processes extending from that condensation to the cytoplasmic membrane. Classic balloon cell, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very classic. So let's test our skills. That's a balloon cell. That's a balloon cell. That's a balloon cell. That's a balloon cell. Notice the cytoplasmic condensation. But this is steatosis. That's a balloon cell. This is steatosis, this is steatosis, this is steatosis. So here's a classic balloon cell. It's enlarged. They often have these distinct cytoplasmic membranes. There's the cytoplasmic condensation. There are the spidery processes right here and the clearing. But there's one additional feature that helps, and that is balloon cells in steatohepatitis are typically located in adjacent to the central vein in the zone 3 region and there is the central vein and i'll leave you with some words of inspiration from our gurus all liverpool